and we just saw that we flashed it and it didn't boot. It didn't get past the uh, the blue life one X or the blue logo. It, it showed up the logo. It uh, hung for a second, and then it just sort of went blank screen and stayed there. Now this is different than if it shows the blue logo and immediately reboots. Um, typically, if you see the the logo of your device and it immediately reboots typically you have a problem with either the kernel itself or uh, the kernel is improperly uh, pointing out where the um, where the essentially the drives are you're, you're not properly mapping your file system so then it can't boot anything and it immediately gives up and, and dies um, if it goes past the device boot logo and goes to the ROM boot logo and then just hangs or um, reboots shortly thereafter then then typically your kernel is okay but there's something else wrong typically there's going to be exceptions to all of that um, when it uh, showed us the blue logo and then it was sitting there uh, we couldn't talk to it with ADB even though I have everything turned on for ADB it didn't work so what I wanted to show you is if that happens and you can't talk to it through ADB, the best thing you can do is immediately after that, after it reboots, or uh, immediately when uh, it doesn't boot and you reboot it, go into Team Win Recovery Project. And, uh, and so that's what I've done here. I went into Team Win Recovery Project. Then, of course, I can bring up ADB, and it says, hey, I'm in recovery. I jump in there uh, with ADB shell and I'm going to look LS at uh, data tombstones and you can see here that there's nine tombstones and so I then exited and pulled ADB pull data tombstones and I put it into my downloads folder so uh, there's three particular files you should always look for depending on your Android version okay and uh, you have the uh, the tombstones in data tombstone and then you have the uh, um, console ram oops file which sometimes you have to look around for but it's usually in the system or sys not system sys directory sys and then uh, further is the if you're working with an older version of android in the um, proc directory you have the um, last underscore k message KMSG and those three files usually will tell you what's gone wrong and here we have all these tombstones so I opened a couple up to take a look at them and it's interesting there's a really consistent pattern in this tombstone so we look at this tombstone and what does this mean this is a bunch of gibberish and you'd have to be pretty smart to just look at that and know oh yeah that's definitely this right um, but what you see here is on the side you start to see these calls and so it's making this call it's making this call and then it gets to this one the system bin lock launcher uh, so here's what's interesting is if you take and copy these and we look in our vendor file lock launcher is one of the vendor files so okay tombstone zero it boils down to it goes to the launch that vendor file and then it has some kind of horrendous error right we go to tombstone one and it goes through the regular files and then it gets to one of these vendor files and has this horrendous error so we find paste in there so we see that our vendor files are actually causing these tombstones and we can look through all of them but for sake of time they all kind of say the same thing just a different vendor file that they look at so what does this mean well we upgraded the device tree which was good so now the device tree is kind of up to date with nugget we upgraded the device kernel which is good so now the kernel is up to date with device nugget but we didn't upgrade the vendor files the vendor files are still the marshmallow files now remember we stole these marshmallow files from the uh, Xiaomi uh, Redmi 3, we stole them from the uh, Eureka Black uh, Garlic, we stole them uh, from the phone itself, the blocks too. So 
what uh, what do we do? What do we replace these with? Well, that's a great question. It's hard to know what exactly to replace these with. Remember that a um, vendor blob is a binary large object that's been compiled just like everything else you compile but these have been pre-compiled for you because they're not open source typically and so these non open source uh, files they um, are coded specifically for the version of Android that they were compiled for so it says hey I am supposed to do this when I get started and so what's happening is it's doing the things it's supposed to do in Marshmallow and it's causing errors and failures in um, Nugget so what we need to do is find somewhere that we can steal more of these files from uh, phones that are already on Nugget. Now we know that the Ugarlic and the um, uh, Xiaomi Redmi 3 I think it is uh, are pretty much the same phone so those would be good target ones to steal from and so if you're doing this and you run into similar problems you should be looking to see if uh, you can steal from a similar type of phone. Uh, your choice you could go through the nine tombstones and just replace those. You could try replacing all of them uh, it's, it's kind of up to you. Um, typically, not everything changes, so you could just try a little bit here and a little bit there and see what you need to do. So, that's what I'm going to do next. Hopefully, uh, hopefully for yourself, you have a better understanding now of how you can kind of look through a tombstone and see what, uh, what problems come up and how you can search them a little bit. This was... I'm by no means an expert on tombstones. There's a lot in here, but just uh, just some things to uh, look at there.